it has been said that uh, snow is the blind person's fog, which is rather an amusing saying, and there's a lot of truth in that. When you're blind, you depend upon the, the fabric of the environment because you're moving around through mainly through touch and you learn a certain route with which you're familiar and you learn it by little bits. You learn, you know, that there's a place where the hedge juts out and there's a place where you come to the corner of the street and you can feel the wind. I trace my cane, for example, along the edge of the, the, the pavement and that becomes a guide for me. Now, if the snow wipes all that out, if it's so deep that you can't tell when the road begins and the pavement ends, then of course it's actually dangerous. So just as snow confuses the world for a blind person by uh, obliterating the vital little pointers or marks which guide you on your daily route, so I suppose the loss of sight had the same effect upon me at any rate. It introduced a terrible confusion into the environment, uh, which, yes, it, it, was, it was painful trying to handle it. Um, you were plunged into a world of ignorance. Only at first, when you recover, you learn that um, blindness does have its treasures, its secrets, and blindness is a world of its own with many strange and beautiful features which sighted people can penetrate only with great difficulty.